Here is actually something very interesting for you. Roman Reigns apparently was not on Raw because his next feud, which is probably going to culminate at SummerSlam, is a high-profile feud, one that is going to be regarded as a main event caliber match. So the announcement was made yesterday night on Raw that Roman Reigns uh, will announce who he's facing, I believe, next week or something about that. But he wasn't here this week, and I guess WWE may be going all in with this. They're sort of treating him like Brock Lesnar from last year, where Lesnar had his opponent chosen, and now Roman Reigns is having his opponent chosen. You know, they're really high on this guy, and lately he hasn't been in the main main picture, main title picture, well, sort of. But he, I, I, if I, if I, you know... I'm, I'm trying to be uh, truly honest with you guys. Roman Reigns has not been the main focus on Raw at all. You know, you watch Raw all together and you'll see Roman Reigns there, but you won't feel like this guy is really being shoved down your throats at this point. You know, or maybe maybe he still is because he's been shoved down so much now that every time we see him, you might still be pissed off at Roman Reigns. I don't know why, though, but... I guess the, the the main reason is that because he's not being uh, showcased as much anymore in these in-depth storylines or overexposed anymore. He's on Raw once or twice, you know, is, is shown on screen and pretty much that's it. So, I mean, this, you know, announcement is probably going to be a big deal. So, how's it going, guys? Ladies and gentlemen, this is WWE Movie Maker here. Um, I'm not going to review Raw. Uh, Raw. Oh my god. Raw was, uh, it was bizarre. Um, a lot of things were very, 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 uh, not understandable. Um, the embarrassing, the embarrassing segment, right? which was truly, to some people, unbearable to watch. As you know that I am talking about the uh, the bear that showed up on Raw. That was pretty funny, actually. But obviously, you look back on and and you're like, we went from watching Stone Cold and The Rock, you know, drop beers over each other, piss the crap out of each other, to a bear tag teaming with the Miz, you know, I don't, I don't know what to say. Um, I, I, I was not upset during this segment. I was actually sort of laughing because uh, I found this. I found some things to be funny here. Um, wonder how Vince McMahon reacts to all, all of these things. Uh, you know, that 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 really shocks me as well at times. Like, how is this guy going to react? To something like this. The Bailey segment. I didn't watch that segment. Um, I don't remember when I passed out. But uh, I, I I was KO'd. I think. From the. I, I think it was the tag team match. With Enzo Moore and Big Cass. I, I, that's like the last thing I remember. Um, and I was, I was, I was out from there. And I, I didn't wake up until like. 1 a.m. in the morning. And my TV was still on. And I got up and I left. To go to my room and continue sleeping. Because that's. I had to wake up the next morning. Uh, at like seven, six thirty, six, something like that in the morning. So, you know, I didn't watch uh, that segment, but I'm hearing that apparently it's some some sort of romantic relationship happening. She said something like, you know, like she apparently she she hugged Corey Graves and he looked at her sort of weirdly, and I think she said something like, uh, "I tapped your back" or something. I patted your back. I don't know what the hell, or I scratched it, or I touched it. I don't know what the hell it was. Um, just by hearing it, that sounds pretty, um, sad. Uh, no, 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 not sad in, in, in the way you think, you know, I'm saying sad, but sad in terms of where they've gone with Bailey, for sure. Um, I'm just, I'm, I don't care anymore. I'm going to laugh my ass off and I'm just going to watch them do what they have to do. I'm going to watch the crowd reactions. I'm going to watch this company burn down to the ground with what they have going on with Bailey. 
I'm going to laugh. I want to see it. I no, no, I don't care. A lot of guys are out there that you know saw the bear segment and they were like, well. I hope this never happens again. But then those same people were actually laughing during that segment. Would I want to see that segment again? Uh, y- you know, I don't know. It was I liked it though. I and 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 I liked it purely because I wasn't focusing on what the story was. You know, I was just focusing on the uh, the entertaining part of it because I because their stories are lackluster. But who cares about the stories anymore? Right. What else was there on the show? The cringe Alicia Fox, as she already is, was more cringier than ever. I don't even remember their segment, but I, I think I I think I heard her in the background screaming something. Um, I heard somebody I was listening to a few podcasts this morning talking about Raw previously from uh, last night. Um, and they were talking about. Uh, uh, was it. Uh, something about that Rich Swan. Uh, would would tell Noam Dar that she's that Alicia Fox is cheating on uh on Noam Dar or something something about pizza something about pizza I don't know about that um that already sounds retarded so I'm not gonna continue that conversation anything else on Raw um can't remember as of right now but you know <clears throat> um. Oh yeah, the Samoa Joe and Lesnar. So that was a good. That was the best thing of the show. Um, I don't understand why the hell that was put on first, but I guess they needed the ratings. Um, I didn't really like the fact that they had to make contact. Um, I felt like this was a little bit of a rush segment. It obviously wasn't the brawl we saw with Taker and Lesnar. It's obviously not near that caliber. I felt like this was. I mean, even with the crowd, the crowd reaction was horrible. Cajun Dome. I don't know. Where the hell is the Cajun? You know, where the hell is the Cajun Dome? Let me let me search that up right now. Cajun Dome. All right. I need I need to know what location this resides in. Louisiana. Louisiana. Who the fuck cares about Louisiana? Arena and Lafette, Louisiana. I w- when Brock Lesnar came out, I was trying to read his T-shirt to see where they were because I didn't know where the Cajun Dome was. All right. And then I saw, I saw L.A. as the uh, you know the state. Uh, name and I thought it was Los Angeles. I was like, okay, N- Louisiana. No wonder they were dead. God damn it! Who cares about Louisiana? Fucking, they're not even a uh, freaking. Uh, I'm not getting. I'm not getting ads on this video already. I know that, but I mean, what can you do? They're not freaking uh, wrestling crowds. All right, get the flip off the 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 radar. Stop putting towns like Chris, Corpus Corpus Christi, Texas, freaking uh, Connecticut, freaking. Towns that are shit. Stop putting them on the radar, okay? For a match, for a match that's going to be like this, you know, I much rather, I much rather uh, would have preferred the crowd that we had last week to, you know, be in attendance to watch these two guys go at it. Horrible. But you know, that was a little rundown of Raw. It was not really that good. I'm not gonna. If I if I was gonna rate that Raw, I didn't even watch it. I might give it a six out of ten, maybe five point five. I don't know. I didn't like it at all. I don't care. Um, but the Roman Reigns issue here. So what are some of the possibilities for the announcement of Roman Reigns? What could he possibly be saying um, and have planned for SummerSlam? So one of the options could be he wants the universal title, right? You may you know, counter that Reigns isn't qualified to demand a championship match, because he lost at Extreme Rules, you're right, but he also beat The Undertaker clean at WrestleMania. So technically, well, that I don't agree with this article already. Just because you beat The Undertaker doesn't mean you, you you deserve every single title match. So, you know, him being in the in the, in the in the match right now, there's no justification for it. Uh, while we are all aware of the rumors that Reigns set to collide with Lesnar, um, WWE may have changed plans on their declining ratings and negative feedback. Maybe Le- I mean. Lesnar versus Reigns may not be tempting. Uh, may not be a tempting WrestleMania match, but it is certainly a fascinating SummerSlam dream match. To be honest, a lot of people are like they don't want to see the Reigns and Lesnar match. I said this before. Did you seriously think the Lesnar and Reigns match was a bad match to main event WrestleMania 31? You went in there and, I, like, honestly, I I don't even remember what my feelings were during that match. B- or before that actually happened during the match it felt like a real fight i loved the main event 
The story was great. And now these are two different type athletes. You know, Roman Reigns is a little bit different from, what, three years ago, two years ago? Yeah. Um, Lesnar is somewhat the same. But they're different people. Actually, Lesnar's not really the same because he got beaten by Goldberg. But this is a different um, story that they could tell. A little bit different. The match they put on, which we would be 10 times better, and not saying that their previous match was bad, these guys can wrestle. I don't know what you're talking about saying that you don't want to see this match. You are delusional. You have problems. Get yourself checked out because I hate these kinds of people. All right? I'm cheesed. I'm pissed off. Why, why, why would you hate this match? Lesnar and Reigns. I don't care how much you hate Reigns. I, I, I used to hate him too. I hate him a little less now. But he's not a bad wrestler. These guys could put on the match of the year if they wanted to. If this match were to happen, I obviously would like to see something different, better than this, but I wouldn't have a problem with it. I've already seen it before, and my attention span is that, you know, it's not that long. I don't want to be seeing this again. Um, another possibility could be an all inner brand dream match. Um... In case, you know, nobody wants Reigns Lesnar for WrestleMania, you could have Reigns challenge somebody on SmackDown Live. Based on what Michael Hayes said, Reigns and Cena can most certainly happen in the future. Now, that match could be... Could go only one way. You're going to have a sea of boos, probably, throughout the arena. A uh, sea of boos on the internet. Um, you'll have more cheers for Cena than you will for Reigns, I can tell you that. But it's probably going to be a uh, a literal house tear. It's going to tear the house down, but not 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 in the way you may think. Sometimes uh, a lot of people think tearing the house down means stealing the show. No, they're going to burn the show. I think with this match, it's not going to be it's not going to be favored. Um, there are multiple others SmackDown Live stars that rank and challenge. I mean, I mean, Styles, okay, Nakamura, no. Um, please keep Nakamura away from Reigns. All right, Corbin, Naka, uh, Corbin and Reigns. I don't see them doing that. Orton and Reigns, no, not at all. Jericho and Reigns, probably not. Um, I mean, possibly Roman Reigns and Owens. Um, this certainly is an interesting plot line. I don't, I don't. With the, with the brand split, I mean, I mean, uh, that's what they did with Lesnar. They had the match sketched out. Actually, that was before the brand split, but, you know, it could possibly be the idea of the inter-brand match. I don't think with the brand split this deep in, they're going to try to do that. I think it's going to be the guy that stays on Raw, unless it's this outcome. Number three, to possibly bring back a legend out of retirement. Could we be possibly seeing the return of Goldberg, the Spear versus Spear match that was also highly teased to happen? I mean, Goldberg recently teased a return. Um, this would be another s s sort of Lesnar and Goldberg type match because it's it, it's going to be a pretty fast-paced match, uh, knowing how Goldberg works. Now, among the opponents he has mentioned, he would like to face, uh, or he would like to step back. Wait, no, one second. If he w if if he were to step back, um, he would like to face Strowman. And obviously Roman Reigns. That's what Goldberg has said. Now we saw a tease between both these men before WrestleMania. Uh, this is a marquee match, and since it keeps Reigns out of the title picture, it's probably one of the fans, uh, one of the best thing that the fans won't actually uh, deny. I mean, I think Roman Reigns over Lesnar. Um, Roman Reigns is a good worker. Would I say he's a better worker than Lesnar? I prefer Lesnar ten times much more. Um. I don't know how the how Roman Reigns and Goldberg would fit together, because I know Lesnar's a veteran. I know he can work with the with a guy like Goldberg. Probably they're probably friends. Again, they have a better chemistry overall, right? Um, but Lesnar and, and 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 Roman Reigns is sort of a good combination, a chemistry type of thing. And I think I think it'll be interesting to see that kind of popularity fight field match that we don't always get to see. This is probably one of the mo mo more unlikely uh, outcomes of the uh, announcement by Roman Reigns next week on Raw. Proposing a Shield reunion, that's not happening. Um, yeah, they're all face, but Ambrose is busy with The Miz. Rollins is just starting a few with Wyatt. If he's going to propose a reunion, it's not going to be right away on Raw. 
uh, probably not even anytime soon. Um, while Roman can propose a shield reunion in the guise of being the most dominant force, uh, it could be a ploy to bring ratings back. Now, as three members of the shield are now babyfaces, uh, this could possibly work as an alliance and even bolster the tag team division and give Cesaro and Sheamus some bodies to work with. You know, it just seems far from from happening at this point. It really does. Uh, who will who will they work at SummerSlam? I mean, the New Day from SmackDown. You could also have. I mean, you could have the Hardy Boys, right? The Hardy Boys, right? I mean, it's a possibility. Um, it's a three on three. My bad. So not the Hardy Boys, but I don't I don't see the Shield reunion happening at all. No. If that if that happens, I'd be probably rave. Not okay. Raving is not the word, but I'd probably be very, very excited and happy on Twitter. Um, or this is probably one of the more generic, uh, you know, ones where he could settle an old score. As we know, Braun Strowman expected to be out for roughly four to six weeks, even they said up to six months. Could he be possibly facing Braun Strowman, who seems to be up and about from his pictures on Instagram, and we are confident that he will return before six months is up. He'll return way before SummerSlam, and he'll have a match easily. It And the reason why they said six months is because so they could have Strowman return early to make him look stronger. All right? Smart, smart idea there. Uh, will Reigns get set the stage by challenging him to a grudge match? And I think that's possibly where it's going. I think it's going to be Strowman and uh, Reigns. Now, SummerSlam, that's the question. Because I truly see, I don't see, because again, Samoa Joe versus Lesnar is a one-off match. Once that's done, that is it. No more Joe in the title picture, at least for now, as in terms of a rematch. He's out of it. So he's probably going to lose. And, I mean, I don't think they're going to put Reigns in the title picture at SummerSlam. I feel like they have a bigger idea for that. Strowman would be the next best get. Now, if they want to do the settle, you know, the settling the score between these two guys, obviously Strowman wouldn't come back next week. Obviously, maybe like a month later. Attack Roman Reigns, do something like that. And then you have enough time to build up back to SummerSlam where you have Roman Reigns and Strowman for, I believe, the third time. I think it's, that, I think it's the third match that they will uh, encounter together. And obviously, in this match, I think Strowman goes over. This happens at SummerSlam. Then you're probably going to be asking me, well, movie maker, what about uh, Brock Lesnar? Rumors say that it was supposed to be Roman Reigns and Finn Balor because those two guys weren't doing anything right now. Maybe we will see Lesnar and Balor at SummerSlam. Then the... Roman Reigns and Strowman program could work. The most likely outcome. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't see. I don't know if Roman Reigns is going to come out and say that he wants to face Strowman, because he knows he's out for six months per storyline. So whatever he goes out to say, it's not. I mean, you could predict it all you want, but you know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say it again. He could possibly be facing Strowman at SummerSlam. He could... A Shield reunion, which is probably not going to happen. Um, a Goldberg match. I don't think that's happening at all either. Uh, inner brand match. Maybe. Or, uh, you know, the Universal title picture. I don't think he's going to be entering the Universal title. No Shield reunion. No Goldberg. So it's one of those two. He either says that he wants to face Strowman... Or the inner brand match. I don't think they're going to do the inner brand match because more chances are that the Strowman story is not over yet. But what are, I don't, I don't know. I don't see him going outside to the arena and saying, you know, I want to face Strowman right now. So maybe these aren't even possible announcements that he could be saying. Maybe it's something totally different. But it is an announcement for SummerSlam. State your comments in the comment section below. Would you like to see Roman Reigns face Brock Lesnar? Would you like to see Roman Reigns face Braun Strowman? Would you like to see Roman Reigns face Finn Balor? Would you like to see Roman Reigns face Goldberg? Or would you like to see Roman Reigns face somebody from SmackDown? 
If you don't want to see any of those, state your comments in the comment section below. Who do you want to see Roman Reigns go up against? I think the most likely option at this point is if you, you know, don't want... Because if Strowman faces Lesnar, that possibly means Roman Reigns faces Finn Balor. But I think the story is not over, and I think that's the most sensible way to go. We may as well see Lesnar and Balor at SummerSlam, which is originally what I predicted from the start, right? As soon as Lesnar won the title, a few weeks later, I predicted it. I changed my predictions a lot. I might have to stick with that same one. What are your predictions? What is your thoughts on this? Ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned for more videos coming up very, very soon. Peace out.